Hope your day is going better than it did for North Korea. Ouch, that was pretty terrible. North Korea earned them the World's World Cup loss since 2002. I guess it could be worse. You could be the referee who has it out for the U.S. and called a goal back with no reason, even after video review. And now we'll never ref another game for this World Cup, and probably the rest of his life, including youth leagues, because no one really wants him there. Wow, talking about taking your grudge out on a world scene. What do you do if you're a professional athlete and get fired at the highest level of competition? Kind of like the action on the California Pizza Kitchen, from takeover target to the slaughterhouse, down 10% today as comp store sales were very weak. We'll actually take a look at this stock again if we see another day of selling, as we like the CPKI for fundamental reasons. As you know, we like BJ's restaurant symbol, BJRI, as our favorite restaurant, and Chipotle's Mexican Grill isn't so bad either. Today on the strategy session, they are talking about the economy in China being stronger than most people have given it credit for. Even though the markets have led ours out of the slump, if you take a look at Chinese individual names, there are still some buying opportunities. Take a look at one of our favorites, TriTech Holding Inc., symbol TRIT. TRIT trades with an 11.7 PE and forward PE of 7.18 and a peg of 0.35. Margins are north of 20% and they have 7.2 million in cash on the balance sheet with only 47,000 in debt. The 52 week high of the stock is $25 and the low is 780. So your risk is 250 down and $15 up. TRIT makes the software that is used by government in China to monitor the control municipal water supply. The company also does wastewater treatment process control systems and water resource protection, allocation, flood control, and irrigations. We like the area of the economy they're in and have to think that these types of areas will only increase as China builds out its main cities into the countryside over the next 100 years. Next, we like to take a look at the RSX. We talked about this Russian equity ETF back on May 28th when it was trading at 28.96. You're already up almost a quick 10% on the position, but we don't think you've missed it. There was a lot of talk on Fast Money on Friday about the energy sector in oil specifically. Russia is certainly a resource economy to get the exposure to the rise in oil prices without having to take on the political risk of any individual company. You can own their market in one easy ETF. Check it out. When oil was back at its two-year high, the RSX traded around $55. So if you think oil is going higher, RSX is a great way to play both the rise of oil prices and the rise of Russia. One last quick note, Jeffrey's got a nice mention on the strategic strategy session that if we got financial reform with teeth, you'll see smaller bouquet outfits like Jeffrey's, which trade around 14 to 15 PE and has plenty of cash on the balance sheet. The stock used to be at $30 before it rolled over and held the 2150 level, which it tested on August of 2009, December to January 2010, and again the first week of June. That's the place for your stop if you want one, although that does look like there's a downtrend on the 90-day chart. We'll have to talk to a technical analysis to see if that's broken that downtrend. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget we'll be on the road again this week at Invest Like a Monster in Chicago on Friday and Saturday. We'll be Twittering that event for you live. If you're there, don't forget to say hi to Brad while you're there. We have a super cool interview planned for Monday in NYC. We'll, see, we'll say more next week after the interviews in the books. Very excited about this weekend as you saw Brad on Mad Money at the top of the show with Jim Cramer last week, so expect more exciting things to come this weekend. Mention us on Twitter if you have any specific name you're looking at and we'll cover on the show. Thanks for tuning in and see you tomorrow.